Friction is the force resisting the relative lateral motion of surfaces in contact. Static friction, the friction felt between two solid surfaces that are not moving relative to each other, is what keeps nails and screws in place. Kinetic friction, the force felt between two solid surfaces that are in relative motion, is what lets you evenly decelerate your car. When rubber, an elastic material, is pushed across a relatively rigid surface, the high-pitched sound one hears is the result of a rapid oscillation from static to kinetic friction between the two surfaces. The normal force of the rigid surface is approximately equal and opposite the force applied. This description is usually good enough for the motions of perfectly rigid bodies, but for force applied through an elastic body, a few other factors must be taken into account for the system to make sense. First, the force is applied to the top of the rubber material. This material is effectively incompressible, but is able to deform slightly to absorb some of the impulse. This deformation stores energy. If the material is being pushed across a surface, there must also be a force component along the horizontal. The static friction between the surfaces is enough to keep them from moving across one another, and the rubber further deforms because of the difference in the forces on its surface. As the rubber absorbs more kinetic energy, it resists further deformation more and more. The horizontal force translated through it increases with time and eventually is enough to overcome the force of static friction. When static friction is overcome, kinetic friction allows the material to slide and quickly converts the pent-up energy into heat which dissipates rapidly. After a certain distance, the material partially returns to its original shape and static friction again takes over. The cycle repeats as long as force is applied both vertically and horizontally. This action is periodic enough to resonate hairs in your inner ear that are physically connected to nerves corresponding to specific frequencies. Spectral analysis shows that there is a simple distribution of these frequencies centered at a point that is at least partly a function of the forces applied. Skidding is another example of this phenomenon. When the kinetic friction of the car's brake pads overcomes the static friction of the rubber tire against the road, a high-pitched squealing sound is created. The driver may have hit the brakes especially hard because they need to rapidly decelerate. Unfortunately, the tires are no longer rotating because the car is skidding. This takes all directional control away from the driver and can be extremely dangerous. Modern anti-lock brake systems use accelerometers and a simple digital circuit to determine when a car is skidding. The brake mechanism is then rapidly oscillated, which lets the wheels regain traction and periodically rotate, returning some control to the driver. The elasticity of the rubber is analogous to capacitance in a simple circuit. Both turn a constant force into a function of time, and both absorb energy at a rate inversely proportional to the energy already stored. This analogy can even be reduced to a direct equivalence, explained almost entirely through the interactions of electrons.